you, little elf, aren't you? All right, let's see. Can you guys hear me? Is this working? Can we see if we're live? How do you tell? I'll check the YouTube. Yeah, you check. So we're live. Let's see. Hold on one sec. Let me change this. I got multiple laptops with me. Always. We're live? Yes, sir. What's up? How are you guys doing? Where? Yeah, let's see where you guys think I am. I see a few people thinking Mexico. I don't know why. Does this, look, does this look like I'm in Mexico? Not in Mexico. Good, good guess, but you're wrong. I'm watching the markets, but I wanted to go live. Challenge students webinar in 40 minutes. Um, so I want you asking some good questions in there. Spain, Belize, Africa, Malaysia. Where, does, where did Belize come from? Belize and Malaysia are actually two big um, countries for stock promotion. But, you know, just a little FYI. Tim Sykes, 2024. No, no politics for me. No, thank you. I am just a teacher. Denver, Sri Lanka. No, I'm not asking where you guys are from. Well, whatever. Let me ask where you guys are from. Let's see. Where, where's everyone tuning in from? That's probably a better question. I'm in L.A. There's no big surprise there. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, I'm actually real time there um, for once because we did a, a food bank drive yesterday. L.A. Food Bank donated $50,000 to them. Uh, that's 200,000 meals because they get their average cost down to uh, – what, 25 cents per meal, which is awesome. Let's see. I'm in Virginia, Nigeria, Atlanta, Ozark, Washington, Germany, Cali, Havana. How's the, how's the Wi-Fi in Cuba? Last time I was in Cuba, the Wi-Fi sucked. Good mojitos, great mojitos, terrible Wi-Fi. Middlebury, Connecticut, England, Tijuana. Ooh, you're making me hungry. Prague, Mississippi. Michigan, Florida, baby. Yeah, that's cool. We're watching the markets drop. I wanted to go live just to, you know, help warn you guys. Um, you don't have to just hold and hope, okay? I am getting so many horror stories. I'm, I'm literally like pissed off when I get messages from non-students who, you know, are, have just been holding all the way down on crypto, on NFTs, on Ethereum, on Bitcoin, um, even big companies like Amazon. You know, people are like, well, I thought you just buy good quality companies and you're down 50% on plays like Amazon, 70% on Facebook or Netflix. You can't just expect to buy at any time, especially after a giant bubble. Um, you got to recognize that it's a bubble. You got to stay safe. I don't have any, you know, magic bullets to solve everything, but I do know rule number one is cut losses quickly. It's just sad. And it, and I don't want to call anybody out. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad, but like, it makes me mad that people are losing 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80% of their retirement money, of their hard earned money. There's a, a crypto promoter who was like, oh, if you have savings, if you have a family business, sell your, sell your family business, get rid of all your savings, put it all into Bitcoin. That was when Bitcoin was at like 52,000. You're down 60%. If you listen to him and you sold your family business, it's messed up. Um, and these promoters take no responsibility whatsoever. They're like, Bitcoin is the future. Uh, crypto was inevitable. Losses are inevitable if you have no risk management. Pain is inevitable. Frustration is inevitable. And this is why I got started teaching. You know, I'm I'm not up that much. I'm not even up a hundred thousand this year, but I'm up instead of being down, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. It's crazy. Like every single day I get another horror story. I just got another one. Not calling anybody out, but you just don't need to hold and hope. This is why. Rules matter. Discipline matters. Yeah, throw out some questions. I got like 10 minutes. Let me just show you this place too. I want to inspire you from a small town in Connecticut. Now I get to travel. I don't know if this Wi-Fi is going to work, but this is my view right now. Overlooking Beverly Hills, LA. It's pretty cool. You love my transparency. I mean, 
it shouldn't be that revolutionary to show all your trades, to show all your investments. But it's crazy how you know cowardly some people are, how shady some people are. Don't listen to anybody who doesn't show all their trades. I see all these screenshot heroes of 2020, 2021, and it's like you just don't need that. Ah, they're getting crushed too. It just pisses me off. I'm sorry. I'm getting pissed. I shouldn't get so pissed, but I am. Let's see if this works out here. Hey, look at Mari. Mari's hiding. Say hi. We're live. I just got a horror man on like 50%. So I'm like, I need to teach. I need to go live. Let me show you more. This. Do we have Wi-Fi down here? Is this going to work? Here's Bree and Adam. Look at this. Look how fun it is. Look at these guys. There's the pool. Here's the view. Maybe I'll just go up there. I don't want to risk having no Wi-Fi. Throw out any questions. I'm here to answer all the questions. All the questions that you can think of. Did it work? Did I lose signal out there? Am I having a party in LA? No. It's not the time to party, it's the time to study. Party after you study, party after you have enough money. Uh, what type of trading, what type of patterns working? Dip buys, look for the biggest panic. Um, on the biggest runners, I'm watching TXTM right now. Really solid uh, pump, you know, good job promoters even in an ugly market. Uh, watching ADN spike 200% today. I'm just waiting for the panics. How do I spot the bottoms? Um, there's a combination. If you're familiar with my seven step framework, if you're familiar with uh, the psych sliding scale, use those indicators. You come up with a numerical number, uh, a numerical number, a, num <laughs> a numerical value. Um, and you, know, you can kind of judge based on that. It's not an exact science, but there's seven indicators that I look at. Uh, whether it's price, pattern, what time of day is it, um, you know, what's your mindset? Like right now I'm angry just because I got a message from somebody and it's just, I hate wasted money. I hate ignorance. And it's these damn promoters brainwashing people. <sighs> Read the complete penny stock course. I don't know if I have it here. I don't know. Look up the Google, the, the complete penny stock course. That's the book that you should read. What is the Fed 75 cent, uh, 75, uh, cent basis uh, increase mean for the market? I mean, I don't even care about, you know, specifically whether it's like 50 basis points or 75. There's a clear downtrend going on in the markets. I want a giant panic. I want like a washout. That's when I think you can get this lasting base. But, you know, like yesterday's bounce, you know, Kathy Wood says, oh, we're close to the bottom. So everyone starts to buy thinking it's the bottom. And then today, new lows. And this is what promoters do. Like they, they lure people in. What sectors am I trading right now? I mean, I'm, I'm, I think I'm like break even this month. I'm not even doing that much. I, I'm just staying safe. It's not even about sectors. Everybody wants to be like, oh, what's the next hot stock? What's the next hot sector? Let the market, let the best plays come to you. Um, any questions, uh, any tech, technical questions or like product questions, email admin at timothysykes.com. My team will answer. Someone said, like, when are classes? I'm giving literally a live Q&A in, like, 30 minutes. I mean, this is a little live here, but I'm, I'm giving a, a challenge webinar. And you challenge students, you have 1,000-plus archive webinars. What's the best day and time to trade? Whenever there's a good setup. You guys want, you want, you want to be like, oh, let me just plan my week. I'll just trade Tuesdays. What if the best setup comes on a Wednesday? You can't plan this inexact science based on your own misguided exact science wishes just because you want it to be an exact science doesn't make it so can the otc market ever get back to early 2021 of course the market moves in cycles this is the hangover after the party that was 2020 and 2021 what's the best time oh you asked that yeah uh what sites can we check if it's been promoted, you should be all should be using stocks to trade breaking news. I literally would not trade without stocks to trade breaking news. They alert all the pumps. I'm fighting on Twitter with people who don't know that their stock has been promoted. They think it's like a quality company. 
All you need to do is use Stocks to Trade Breaking News. They're in all the chat rooms. They have all the newsletters. They literally curate all the best pumps. When am I back in New York? I don't even know. Uh, opinion on the overall market the next year. It's the same market as this year. It's the same market as 10 years from now. Take advantage of opportunities when they come. Leave a comment. I want everyone to say, I will study hard and learn the best patterns to trade. Leave that comment right now, okay? Type that in. I will study hard and learn the best patterns to trade. And that's different for everybody. Some people like morning panic dip buys. Some people like first green days. You want like these answers. What's the best day and time to trade? What's the market going to do? You're asking the wrong questions. If you ask the wrong questions, you're not going to be successful. So for me, I want you to get on the right track. There's two kinds of markets, a market to earn and a market to learn. This is a market to learn in. You can practice different setups. You can practice different uh, patterns. See what works best for you. Maybe nothing works best right now. So you got to track that. You need data to track. Then you find what you're best at. What is Stocks to Trade Breaking News? Again, email admin at timothysykes.com. My team can send you any of the links um, if you want to join my challenge, if you want to join my lifetime challenge. This has been a popular thing. We just did it for my birthday uh, a little while back because I was like, oh, you know, let me do a birthday special. You know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Helped challenge students dramatically because then they were like not so burnt out trying to force video lessons, DVDs, webinar study all at once. How do you know when to stop trading on any day? I mean, if there's no solid setups, I haven't made a trade yet today. I, I don't see any truly great setups. I, I'm impressed with TXTM. I'm impressed with ADN, um, but I'm waiting for a giant panic. TXTM had a, like a little midday panic just now. Um, I mean, that's that could be the start of something, but I want like a giant panic. Who's inspiring you now? Nobody. Nobody's really inspiring me right now, um, you know? Pasquale is inspiring me right now. You know, it took him two and a half hours to get here in traffic, but he braved through that. He is a warrior. No, you don't need inspiration all the time. You, you know, you can just study the past. That's what you should be doing right now. When there's no great plays, when you're not trading that much, study the past. Get better prepared for when there are better plays. Then you won't be asking the wrong questions because you'll have better preparation. Oh, Pascal just linked stocks to trade breaking news. Good. But you guys should be using that every day. Even if you're not trading, even if you're just beginning, start to learn what news moves stocks, what catalysts, who are the best promoters at any time. Before, you used to have to sign up to all these different promoter websites. Now, it's all handed to you. How far back do you study? Um, I mean, I've got, what, 8,000 video lessons, 1,000 plus webinars, nearly two dozen DVDs. Study all of those first. Um, you know, it's not just studying random stuff with finance. I have created 25 millionaires now quintupled in just the past few years. There's a very specific process that I go through. Do I use a fixed risk amount or it may change? It changes. You know, if there's a perfect trade, I'll go big. I haven't seen that many perfect trades. So I've been trading smaller, cutting losses quicker, um, taking smaller gains lately. You got to adapt with the market. It's not just like buy a thousand shares, risk a hundred dollars every trade. You guarantee TXTM has a bad day tomorrow. I mean, I want the promoters to pump it up as much as possible, but they've already resorted to lying about me. This is what happens with all these penny stock promoters. Right before a crash, they start saying that I'm shorting the stock when I'm warning about you know the inevitable pattern that plays out every time there's too much promotion. I'm not shorting TXTM. I've never shorted a one, two, three, four cent stock. It doesn't make sense. You have to put up $2.50 a share just to short any low price stock. Why would I put up $2.50 a share to short a stock at 1.7 cents? Um, but again, the promoters do this because they're looking for somebody to blame so that everyone's like, oh, Sykes shorted it. Sykes and his crew are manipulating it. When it's the promoters who you should be angry at. And this is the same thing with like crypto promoters, penny stock promoters. They never take responsibility. Crypto promoters, literally, if you followed some of the crypto promoters and the NFT promoters, you've lost everything in the past few weeks and months because you have zero risk management. You just hold all day, which is not even a strategy. And it's terrible. Penny stock promoters, every single time it spikes for a few days or weeks or months, even if there's good pumps and like the promoters aren't too coked out to do their jobs, but a few days lately. And then if the promoters start lying about me, that's usually the sign of the top because they're looking for a scapegoat. 
So TXTM, I hope it keeps going. I, I want it to spike as high as possible. I don't like trading these one cent, you know, sub penny stocks. I hope it keeps going. Good job, promoters. You have so many videos. How do we determine which top 100 to study? You don't. You watch them all. You stop being so lazy. You know? Oh, well, how far back do I go? Do I only study the last one month? No, study one decade. How many video lessons do I watch? Watch them all. Mark Crook, one of my students, just made nearly $300,000 in one day earlier this week. You think he asked me which, which DVDs, which video lessons should I watch? He watched all my video lessons three times. If you watch my video lessons on Profitly, guess who came up with the categories and tags? It ain't me. I'm already overwhelmed. Mark Crook did it because he watched everything for three times over. Now he's making you know nearly $300,000 in a day. He's closing in on 4 million total profits. You think they're related? The more you study, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Type that in the comments right now. Say, the harder you study, the luckier you get. People said like, oh, it's all luck. Tim Sykes and his students, whoever makes millions, it's all luck. I agree. And the harder we work, the luckier we get. It might seem like luck to other people, but that's just because they're lazy. That's just because they're unprepared. How do I know how these promotions are going to play out? Because I've witnessed thousands of them. Even if you're starting right now, you can learn from my experience. You're playing a game of catch up. I'm just a glorified history teacher. Study your market history. Um, let's see, I lost $600,000 in the market last year because I didn't know the simple rules of trading safe. Well, I mean, listen, if you do have big losses, that sucks. I always feel bad if I can't reach people in time, but you can learn from those big losses. Once upon a time, I had a small hedge fund. I lost a million dollars in it, 500,000 of my own money. The press crucified me. I've never had another seven figure loss, six figure loss. I don't even really have that many five figure losses anymore. Um, so you can learn what not to do. It sucks, but you know, you have a tax deduction going forward with that loss and a good lesson. You just got to learn it. Um, I still use, you know, uh, E-Trade, um, interactive brokers and trade zero. I have studied, I keep studying good. And that's the thing. Like I have 25 millionaire students now, but none of them did it in year one or year two, like Mariana, who was outside probably talking to her mom because she's amazing and she supports her family. You know, she's my first female millionaire student. She didn't trade at all for a year. She just studied from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's discipline. Bless you, Pascal. How do we start with your videos? Email admin at timothysykes.com. That's the easiest way they can give you a whole track to, to follow. When am I visiting India? Uh, we actually have three charity projects in India. I would love to go there. Probably next year. This year is kind of crazy. Do I use one laptop? I mean, this is Pascal's laptop that we're actually live on. Pascal is my inspiration behind my YouTube channel. But I, yeah, I mean, I just literally, this is my one laptop that I trade off of. Um, if you want multiple monitors, do it. If you want one laptop, do it. You find what works best for you. Just don't think that it's the same for everybody. For me, if I have multiple monitors, if I have like perfect sleep, perfect Wi-Fi, I screw up. I start over trading. Um, one laptop keeps me focused on like, I usually only take one trade at a time. That way I can like focus on the best. What's the best broker to trade in London? Uh, interactive brokers. I mean, that's, that's an international broker. E-Trade I think has some regulations. It's mainly for us. Um, any questions about stocks to trade email support at stocks to trade.com. How do you start pumping penny stocks like you do? Sure, expect the worst out of every single penny stock. Expect that they're going to fall to zero and then just be real about it and then laugh when other people say that you're pumping them. That's a good start. I'm used to the lies. You can't hurt me with your lies. I'm in a whole industry full of liars and lies and thieves and fakes and frauds. How do you think I got so blunt? I'm so sick of it. And I thank the liars. I thank the fakes. I thank the frauds. All I have to do is tell the truth. And you guys make me look so good. So if you're a liar out there, if you're a promoter out there, thank you. You make my job so much easier. People are like, oh, thank you for your transparency. It's so refreshing. What, telling the truth is refreshing? It's a sad commentary on this industry, but that's reality. Do I manage my schools or hand them over? So with the charity, we now have 107 schools. I just donate the money. You know, I, I don't manage it. Some people are like, oh, white man trying to come into other countries and tell them what to study. I don't control the curriculum. It's all locals. 
Um, you know, there's different charities, whether it's Cambodia Village Fund, Bali Children's Project, Pencils of Promise, um, Build On, where Build On is actually cool. We have uh, a school, two schools with them in Nepal. And not only are there schools, and it's awesome to change the lives of hundreds of kids who attend those schools, but when we were building those schools, it was actually an inner city group uh, from Brooklyn who I talked to went there and helped build and like got to experience what Nepal was like. Nepal, any third world country is pretty crazy. Um, it's an eye-opening experience. Do I buy first green candle and how long am I holding? It depends on the catalyst. It depends on the seven indicators in my psych sliding scale. It's not just one indicator. A lot of people only say like, whoa, I want to buy this news. I want to buy this chart. You're using one out of seven indicators. How do you think you're going to do? How, would, how long would you do paper trading? It's up to you. You can paper trade. You can trade with 100 shares. But whatever you do, I do encourage you to start small. Trade small at first, okay? Uh, if you think that you should start with 50,000, start with 5,000. If you think you should start with 10,000, start with 2,000. Like trade small and force yourself to try to grow a small account. You're probably not going to make that much money, if any money at all, in your first year or two. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to learn the patterns. How often do I use red to green to give an entry? I hardly ever do red to green. Um, you know, I like buying, you know, first green days or I guess shorting first red days, but red to green or green to red, the movement between the two, it's very tough. Anyways, I got to give a webinar to challenge students now. I just want to go live. Remember to cut losses quickly. Leave that comment right now. I want you to say, I will cut losses quickly because I'm getting... Literally what inspired this live is me getting the worst messages from non-students, people who don't respect rules, people who believe these promoters, and they're getting annihilated. You would be shocked. I know Kathy Wood of ARKK is down like 70, 75%. She manages billions, but people who don't manage billions and who are partaking in the same flawed, no risk management strategy, they're losing not billions, but 70, 80, 90%. And they're getting a flawed view of what the stock market is. You do not have to hold on anything. No crypto, no penny stock, no blue chip company. You can exit at any time. This is the problem with these gurus and these, you know, even billionaires, they only think about themselves and promoters too. Like when I'm critiquing a stock, the promoters reply back like, I got free shares. I'm in at 0.001. I'm not talking to you, you corrupt bastards. Same thing with billionaires. Like, oh, I'm still a billionaire. It doesn't matter. It's the people with small accounts who you influence that's the problem. Because people with small accounts, I get people with like $5,000 and they're like, oh, I have 30 positions. This is too much. You're not a mutual fund. You're not a hedge fund. I take one or two positions at a time. I trade like a sniper. When there's no great trade, I don't trade. Okay? So you have to understand this. You don't have to have massive diversification on like a $2,000 or a $5,000 account. You should be using your small account to your advantage. This is why I got started teaching. There's so many misconceptions, lies, BS out there. You don't need that, okay? You need to focus on specifically what you can do. Mariana studied for a year as just one example, you know? Jack Kellogg is somewhere. Where's Jack? Have you seen Jack? Is he awake? He's outside? They're walking? They're out for a walk. Jack is here. He's closing in on 10 million, but he used to park cars. He was a valet, okay? So you have to understand that, guess what? You can start small, you can grow it exponentially, but it ain't gonna be through diversification and it ain't gonna be through holding and hoping when the play, asset, stock, whatever you're trading keeps going against you. By all means, ride plays up. TXTM, amazing multi-day run up. Props to those of you with patience. But if the play is going against you, you can cut losses quickly. And guess what? If you still like the asset, if you like the stock, shh. You can buy it back. Oh, you can buy it back. Oh my God, you don't have to risk giant losses. Look at this secret. You can buy. Welcome to trading. I had this conspiracy theory. Where I was like, if, if Bitcoin people and crypto people really were so positive about their niche, you take a small loss and you sell into the parabolic move and then you buy it back when it drops 80 or 90%. This isn't the first crypto crash. This won't be the last. You don't have to hold through the 80, 90%. Some people are like, oh, I would love to do trading, but it's so, it's so stressful. It doesn't have to be. Last word, and I want you to type this, 
trade scared so that trading isn't so scary. It's good to be a coward. It's good to cut losses at one or 2%. Get back in when the play is moving in the right direction. Learn from when it's not moving in the right direction. Learn what you did wrong with your thesis, okay? <sighs> trade scared so that trading isn't so scary. I got to give a challenge webinar in 15 minutes. Challenge students, come ready with questions. Jack and Mari should be back from their walk. Get inspired by Jack's now nearly $10 million in profits, former valet. Mariana is just 21. She's made 1.6 million. We're going to have some good Q&A. Thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you in a bit.